Addressing members of the press in Juba over the weekend, Ethiopia's Foreign Affairs Ministry spokesperson Dina Mufti said the country welcomes South Sudan's appeal to mediate the dispute. According to Ambassador Mufti, the two countries' border agreement was signed between Ethiopia and the British Colonial Administration. However, the British conducted a demarcation exercise unilaterally without the presence of the Ethiopian side. Ambassador Mufti said that in 1972, the two sides exchanged notes to renegotiate and redemarcate the border while maintaining the status quo in order to settle the matter amicably. The countries have been on the right track in establishing relevant joint committees or commissions. However, there is no reason for Sudan to violate the status quo at this time, Ambassador Mufti said. This belligerence on the South Sudanese side does not reflect the long-standing relations between the two countries, and Ethiopia is asking Sudan to respect the status quo. We are also asking our friends and partners to impress upon the Sudanese authorities to that effect. Ethiopia believes our Sudanese brothers and sisters will heed to our request for the issue to be settled peacefully. Last week, Tutgatluak Manibe, South Sudan's presidential security advisor, who heads the Juba delegation to Sudan, said that Khartoum has accepted Juba's proposal to mediate the border talks. We didn't want the two countries continue in dispute when there's no peace in neighboring Ethiopia and Sudan. Then we can't feel comfortable as South Sudan, he said. On Sunday, Sudan condemned Ethiopian forces for their new aggression on Sudanese lands without providing the specific time. The Ethiopian aggression was also a violation of the values of neighborliness and positive interaction among countries that enhance stability and security, the ministry added. It demanded Ethiopia immediately stop its encroachment on Sudanese territories and ensure completion of the redemarcation of the borders as agreed upon while holding Ethiopia fully responsible for the consequences of its aggression. Since September 2020, the border between Sudan and Ethiopia has been witnessing rising tensions and skirmishes between the two sides. Sudan accuses Ethiopian farmers backed by armed forces of ceding Sudanese borderlands in Sudan's Fashara area and cultivating them since 1995. The border area of Fashara between Sudan and Ethiopia, one of the five localities of Sudan's Gadaref state, often witnesses deadly attacks by Ethiopian militia during the preparation of the agriculture cultural season.